Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one and only Archer with Archer Astrology. What's going on? Um, Aries, it is time to do your bonus April 2023 love reading for you and the one on your mind when you clicked on this video and decided to hang out with me for a little bit. Hi, I'm Archer. Welcome. Love that like for me. Hit the bell, subscribe, set the notifications, and know that you are loved and appreciated. Um, okay, Aries, so right now, obviously, with it being the later half of the month of April, our big focus is going to be the new moon solar eclipse in your sign and Mercury retrograding in Taurus. So everything going on between April 19th to April 21st is going to be the catalyst point for all these big changes happen. Everything's going to start going on from that point forward. Now, granted, it can take like, you know, 30, 60 ish days or something to, uh, you know, fully start happening. But um, you're going to start feeling it you know, first and early, especially as the sun transitions too. So there's a lot of activity in the skies in the later half of the month. Um, as the sun heads over into Taurus, you still get to keep the moon. It's really close to that line right there. And um, sun's going to go into Taurus. Jupiter still gets to be in Aries though. So you've still got a sun, moon, Jupiter conjunct going on right there. So your dominant planet Mars is hanging out in Cancer. That's two cardinal energies. Jupiter, Sagittarius, is still hanging out in your sign. And then you got your Mercury retrograde and the sun heading over to Taurus. So we'll see where all this goes because you've got a lot of good luck, a lot of retention, a lot of protection. There we go. And see, I'm already retrograding right here. I've been doing it like forever. And, um, you know, a lot of having faith and maturing. This is, you know, this Mercury retrograde is reflection and correction. You know, greatest common denominator looking back on ourselves and all seven billion of us are going to be doing it so let's take a peek with the baba bowie deck and see what we've got for you and your person whatever comes out and the titanic deck's going to give us some clarifiers okay um we are open to the messages we're going to receive so long as they are for aries highest and greatest good only please and thank you all right let's go for it for Aries and the one on your mind for April 2023, new moon solar eclipse in Aries, Mercury going into Taurus. Let's do it. Here we go. Two shuffles. One and two. All right, let's do it, Aries. Here we go. All right, start with you. Starting with you. Happy birthday. It's still your season. Happy birthday. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords for you. Okay, so communication that you are thinking about and manifesting in with a Five of Wands. Um, you're, you're struggling, you're competing. I see a little bit of an internal fight going on inside your head a bit. Kind of like trying to make plans. You're starting to feel a little bit excited about something with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something that you're working on creating strength. And this I see not just Leo, but also Cancer. The Baba Bowie deck is the only one that I see it that way because she's got two lions. It looks much like the two sphinxes that drive the chariot on that card. So it could be a Cancer Leo Kesper that you're dealing with, considering, or something that you're focusing on, like the children and maybe an age difference in between. Something to that effect that's, that's kind of propelling you forward. Spirit's guiding you as you do the work on this. So I see you leveling up, focusing Six of Swords, using this retrograde and eclipse to kind of clear out the energy and manifest in what you want. You know, you're taking stock in the things that you liked about yourself, the things you didn't like about yourself, and then you're correcting for it, four of pentacles. Yeah, and that protection with the Jupiter and Aries shows up here too. You're building something good. You've got plans here, heavy Taurus on this, Virgo Cappy, then you've got Libra and Leo Cancer showing up in there too. So something that you're protecting with the high priestess and you're keeping to yourself, you're playing it close to the vest, pocket aces. Interesting. Very nice. Yeah. So with this here, what I see going on is, is kind of just, you know, empressing up, maturing into things, really focusing on that strength to keep you on point and on course. You're not saying much of the, what you're doing, but you're looking back on the past, trying to figure out if it's worth it or if it's not. Almost in a two-ish of pentacles, but you're doing it behind closed doors with this clarifying out to the high priestess. Cancer and Virgo energy. Way back in the days, back when the lover's car was a choice, this little guy here tied into both the shells of Cancer and the hermit crab of Virgo. So it is also known for Cancer and Pisces in modern times and the intuition that goes deep. So I see you actually leveling up, looking more into frequencies and researching things and just, you know, trying to find a sense of your own guidance, your own direction. And that strength that keeps you motivated forward. Six of Swords. To walk away from the things you didn't like, 
but to hang on to the things that you secretly did. That's nice. It's very cool. So you're picking and choosing, which is there's nothing wrong with that. You're saying, okay, this thing about me, not so good. This part about me, dug it. Very cool. All right, let's take a look and see where it goes for you. Uh, let's see, four Taurus, clarifiers in your energy. You're protecting something that you're not telling anybody about. But I see it as something very good with this strength card here, the Leo energy and the six of swords. That it's, you know, you're really looking out for all your best interests and, you know, a little bit of looking back and reflection as you walk away from the stuff you don't want, but protect the things you do. That's cool. Very high priestessy of you. So there could even be a plan or secrets, 10 swords to the chariot that you're hanging tight about. And I did mention the Cancer Leo thing on this one here. So it could be a cusper or something in July and August holds significance that's keeping you in, in, in like on, in a guiding light. It's something that's motivating you forward. And I see a lot of yellow, so sun energy. Somebody's enjoying the outdoors, maybe playing in the woods, camping more, maybe even just enjoying yard work and like tending to the garden, things like that, because it's springtime, you know? Ooh, jumpers, queen of wands, and the emperor. Okay. Ooh, and one more even on your clarifiers. Nice. You've got some hardcore energy, and it's four of pentacles. There was the third jumper. So this right here, I've got a synchronization there. The four four could be something that means something to you, Aries, or a number that you're seeing more of on repetition. That's when spirit's trying to talk to you here. This is you with Leo energy, showing something coming back around that you're manifesting in the way you want at this time. Violet Jessup, the Queen of Wands in this deck here, was on all three of the Titanics. The Olympic, the Titanic, and the Britannic. There was a class of those ships designed to do the service. She survived an accident on the Olympic, the sinking of the Titanic, and the sinking of the Britannic. So this is something that's come back around and has sustained power on top of this strength to go the distance on that Emperor energy. And the sun does transmit while the moon recedes. Couple that up with Jupiter, and that manifests in the good luck that you want. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles, and that Four of Pentacles on here showing the connection that you are indeed protected, regardless of what you bring forward and what you decide not to, you're protected and guarded for it with that Four of Pentacles twice on the Page of Cups, Cancer Energy, on top of that Taurus, showing a little bit of love. Capricorn, too, kind of hanging out with Virgo, but um, this is a love offer and something, a small, simple, immature communication could be ch from children or children being involved. Or just even an age difference coming in. Heavy cancer in the outcome there too. To the high priestess, to the queen of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, and Cappy. At the moment, however, you are looking good. You're enjoying your birthday season. And you are definitely making the best of it. Collecting your presents and you know looking over everything that you got. Um, you're feeling quite abundant and grounded. It's nice, Aries, that ram on. All right, bottom of the deck, ace of pentacles. Yeah, you got plans for a whole new thing that you're putting together right here. And... Let's see how your person's affected right now. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for being here, Aries. Love that like for me. Set the bell to all notifications, and we'll take it from there. All right, let's take a look at your person's feelings right now. What, what are they reflecting on and going on about during the new moon, solar eclipse, and Mercury retrograde in Taurus? So the end of the month is powerful as everything slides over and transitions into Taurus. And the 19th, 20th, and the 21st are going to be the big catalysts that light the powder keg for an abundant future. This is straight up good luck going everywhere. All right. Let's see what's up with your person right now. Here we go. Person for Aries. Let's check it out. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the Prince of Pentacles. Ooh, you're kind of in the feminine pentacle energy. Well, the masculine, the other person, your special person, et cetera, and so forth is in a Prince of Pentacles energy. Something new, creative, and something that you never thought would happen. This prince is like balancing this horse, got the radio hooked to it. You know, it's a completely dreamy idea that they're not sure of, but they're stable about. This is grounded and stable, nine of pentacles completion. Everything but one pentacle there, that, that little last thing, the all you need is love card. They've got the love already, so they're coming in with the rest of the pentacles in a communication that means something. Prince of Wands, look how confident they feel and look right now. Wow. All right, let's check them out. Here we go, Aries. Three of Pentacles. Nice. They've done some work and Spirit's helping them out to a Queen of Pentacles. You guys are sinking. I see mirroring coming on both sides of this thing right here with the Fool Your Energy for a new beginning to start out. They're looking at something that is going to go the distance, make money for like the whole family generational wealth. And they are very, very stable at the moment. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Two of Pentacles. This dude is surfing this wave. He ain't, he ain't like trying to balance those Pentacles. 
This is your person getting ready to want to communicate about something new and a chance that they want to take with you that they've done the extra research to make sure it comes in right. Queen to three of pentacles. This isn't dreaminess up in their head. This is something that's like, guess what? I got paperwork to prove it. You want to check it out? Five of swords? Go ahead. Look what we got. They've got a plan to communicate. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy that's that's going to really surprise you. Going to be like, wow, something we didn't plan with this five of swords. You know, they're watching you and really trying to think of the way to come in right with this fool energy. Something that makes them feel kind of excited, but stable, balanced, as they maybe level up, start to do a little more research into things. And, you know, just kind of take on the aspect of double checking everything, crossing T's and dotting I's, you know, and, and doing that look and not just jumping at the gun here, but being two of pentacles to get up to that nine of pentacles that the prince of pentacles is bringing on that horse. So they're definitely watching you and, and thinking about coming your way, right? So let's take a peek at can we see communications on this for Aries, the one on their mind. Let's see what we're up against and what we got going on. All right, and then we'll get a couple of little overall energies at the end, too. Appreciate you. Love you guys. Whoop, look at that. Kind of locked up. They're a little nervous. They're a little anxious. They're doing some looking back right now, being like, eh, did I go a little too far? Did I did I go over the top with Aries? And I mean, you are radiating on both sides of the fence here. And that happens during birthday seasons. Um, you know, we all kind of embrace that energy. So the fire signs especially are feeling it. But your person is very Earth. I'm picking up heavy Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus for sure. I see Virgo too, though. And then you've also got, you know, your energy in Aquarius showing up. So let's see where that goes. The Hermit, Virgo energy. I just mentioned that. And I was talking about you keeping things to yourself and how that high priestess energy was more Virgo. Going inside, playing chess to calculate things out. Your person is in straight up Hermit mode, Virgo energy. And, and really reflecting back, doing the work to get somewhere and make a plan to come your way. They don't want to come in with like just the, oh, sorry, we didn't gonna do it, not going to do it again. And be like, no, well, you know, I got a whole thing going on here. I've been working overtime with judgment. Yeah. They're realizing and seeing more that they were the issue. They were the common denominator and they want to come back correct and let you know that they've worked on it to get to that point. With the eight of pentacles, <laughs> you guys are matching energy because you got the eight of pentacles. Where did it go? Eight of pentacles. There it is. Right by the strength card. So you guys are mirrored and sinking. I do see a soulmate twin flame connection out of this. 8-8, eight, eight, the August portal uh, in Leo season could mean something to you about August 8th um, or to the two of you guys that um, it's something that syncs up. So 4-4 four, four and 8-8 eight, eight coming out hardcore here for signs to watch out for. It's when spirit wants to relay a message with you. Ace of Pentacles. There, you guys have already talked about this. Something that they talked to you about and told you that it was like the end all be all. It was the answer. It was the one that would go the distance. This is the this is the right one. The Ace of Pentacles. It was the energy at the bottom of your deck. Is one of their clarifiers on this fool energy of the new beginning. You guys are communicating to each other in your dreams and through spiritual messages. Even if you're not in 3D communication right now, they're coming in balanced. And here's the Ten of Cups. So ten ten even going to be something that you want to check out or even a number or a path to follow. Maybe it's in an address or a, a, a number, you know, to the two of pentacles, showing that they come in balance and showing this is going to be happiness. It goes a distance. This is something that, that you didn't think would happen, and it, it's and only dreamt of with the two of cups. Right there, a choice to make an offer and, you know, just kind of work together to work that ten of cups right there on the five of swords. So they're really grappling with what they told you about that that this was this was it this was the answer and the one that would work out and would go the distance and and uh, they're coming back correct this time and maturing up wow judgment cool there oh wow and the fool underneath there double fool energy one one something in January even but yeah look at that you guys are both matching up on energies and wanting something new hangman to the empress and the two of wands transmitting and receiving. That sun and moon conjunct with Jupiter right there. That's a little Cancer, a little Leo, a little Sagittarius, and those influences to just kind of healing of the head, like like a head wound being healed and coming clean as that, and and the good luck that brings into it, a little Pisces energy too there. That that to go with the flow is how the Empress receives. The moon receives, the sun transmits, and when you work together with those, it brings in temperance, balance, healing. And was I not just talking about Sagittarius? They do indeed know how to make a fashionable entrance, do they not, Aries? Aries, you guys always show up first to the party, and you bring in a dish to pass. You let us use a Spotify account. You're awesome like that. Leo shows up about an hour late because you're like, oh, shoot, sorry, guys. I thought the party was at 8, not 7. My bad. Oops. But, and then they shed all over the rug. But you got a vacuum. 
Then Sagittarius shows up, makes that entrance like the girl from the She's All That movies right there coming in. Everybody's like, <gasps> temperance right there. So you got balance and healing for the two of you to come together. And the fire signs are thriving right here. Very heavy on that too. Uh, earth signs as well. And just enough swords to make it all go right. So, you know, honorable mentions for Aquarius. I'm seeing Gemini in here too. You've got Cancer, Sag, Leo hanging out. You're here kind of all over the place too, along with Taurus and Virgo. Honorable mentions to Cappy too, because they're over here too in your heads. So get that bread and get that love. This is like coming full circle, man. Watch out for those numbers. Appreciate you. Let's get a potential outcome. I want to just pull three cards. Give me three cards on where this could go. Where will this eclipse season, retrograde season, take Aries and their person? Love you guys. Let's do it. Just give me three cards, Spirit, please, and thank you. Here we go. Three cards on where this will go. Ooh, that one stuck. It makes it the bottom of the deck. Nope, into the middle. Bottom of the deck is the Prince of Pentacles again for an outcome. It's your person showing up. This was one of the cards they were in. You guys are stable, grounded, and this is going the distance. The kids are taken care of, the grandkids are taken care of, and everything they said is what comes true. Prince of Pentacles to the Empress to the Star. Aquarius energy on this. Did I not mention Aquarius? Fixed energy as well with more Aquarius along with Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo for an outcome for something you did not dream of. You never dreamt this would be this good and you guys would be receiving the money, receiving the love. And like everybody is taken care of when you least expect it, that's when it happens. Look at the colors in there. I'm feeling like heat and energy off of it that makes it sparkle. That's incredible. So Aries, you got a lot of good stuff in store. King of Swords. Maybe wanted to pull that card out too right there. You literally like when monkeys fly right there. Well, uh, you got it. You want it? You got it. Communication coming in on Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys actually get it and talk about this plan and it's going to go the distance. There's the Nine of Pentacles to the Hierophant. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles underneath that as well with the sun. This is set up to go the distance, man. That's going to be a good time. So, um, you know, fool energy. Take a gamble, take a risk, take a chance, and let me know how it goes. Leave some comments down below. And uh, love that like for me. Subscribe and set the bell to all notifications because I do go live every Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from you to Pisces. Plus a check-in on the soulmate and twin flame cycles. That's right. You get 14 readings here at Archer Astrology. And if this resonated and you would like to book a personal reading with me, you may free will choose to do so by dropping me an email at archerastrology at gmail.com. And we'll take it from there. Check out my playlists for the most current tarot and chill music video and sun and moon. And, uh, you know, rock that one over there too. Until next time, make it a great one. And this reading will resonate to any and all placements of Aries within your chart. We are FHA compliant here at Archer Astrology, and we'll read for any sign which desires and inquires. Till next time, Aries, ram out. Archer out. Yeah, chariot.